Hello Stampers! Did you know that this week, Saturday, is World Card Making Day? So I decided at 1 o'clock on Saturday that we are going to make a mystery card together. So in order to do that, we'll probably do it through Zoom. And in order to do that, you need to cut the following things. First of all, you're going to pick out a DSP you like. So I picked out this one candy cane set. And I'm going to actually do a Christmas card with this mystery card layout. So you're going to pick out your DSP and you're going to cut that four inches by three and a half inches. So yours can be whatever color you like. You don't have to use this one. I'll show you bunches of other samples of this also. Second of all, you're going to pick out a background paper that matches. So shaded spruce and cherry cobbler on here, so I chose that. So your card is going to be four and a quarter wide by 11 long. And then you're going to score it at five and a half inches, and that's all you're going to do with it right now. You need to bring a paper cutter on Saturday at one o'clock and adhesive in order to make this card. So that's the second thing you need. The third thing you're going to need is a piece for the inside. So because there's white in here, I'm going to use a white piece, and that's going to be four inches by five and one quarter inches. Okay, the, the fourth thing you're going to need is another pe matching piece of cardstock. So since there's cherry cobbler in here, I'm you're going to use that, and it's four and a half by two. So pick two colors out of your DSP to use for your two parts of your card. The fifth thing you're going to need is a sentiment smaller than two inches wide. So in other words, it has to fit onto this sheet. So I'm using... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or something else, but anyway, this is going to be the sentiment. And then it's, um, I'm just going to take the stamp and I'm going to take an ink that works probably black in this case for this, so to show up on what I'm going to be doing. And the last thing is you need a focal point. So you can cut a shape like this. I'm going to actually, this goes really nice with that. So I'm either going to do a little punch tag with it, or I might do this punch tag with it. Or something I'm going to use that on my card when I'm done so you need some kind of a shape as a focal point it can be a circle cut out it could be your you could be your words in a in a circle that would be fine too or it could be a flower could be a Christmas tree could be a witch's hat depending on what you pick out as your your paper so the fun thing is that if you post these all on my um, gifted hands website that then you'll be able to um, see everybody else's cards and I will post several cards that I've made already because I have some Halloween cards made and fall cards made with this mystery card uh, layout. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I did it with my downline and they loved it. They came up with the prettiest cards. Um, so I'm hoping to uh, see some really cool things from you also. So that's one o'clock this Saturday on Zoom. Um, I'm going to put it on my Gifted Hands website and also on my blog. So join me there and I will admit you to my group and we can try it. So take care. Stay safe. Pat Ertman saying goodbye for now. Bye-bye.